Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. So this is going to be a little tutorial mini series per se. I'm going to do a couple of videos that are kind of going to interconnect with each other. So I'm actually going to add them as a playlist and it's all about setting up your email and um, downloading your email lists and importing subscribers using mailing boss inside of Builderall. Um, so if you want to um, you know learn how to connect certain things or how to add your leads to your uh, email list and stuff like that inside uh, Builderall uh, then keep on watching because and, and make sure to subscribe to my channel because um, I'm going to be doing a few tutorials because I do realize that you know I don't know if you can relate, okay, but you can have four teachers teaching the exact same subject. But then there's one teacher that just connects with the way that you learn. And so I am just hoping to be able to um, connect with someone who is looking to learn in the way that I teach, <laughs> which is why I'm doing these videos. Um, so uh, if you want to learn some cool little tips and tricks on how to, you know, get your e uh, mailing boss connected uh, inside of Builderall, uh, make sure to check out this playlist. I'm going to be uh, creating a playlist just for email stuff. Um, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure to keep on watching okay guys and gals well thank you again so much for watching my video uh, in the next videos on this playlist we're just going to jump right into the content so uh, please go ahead make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel again this is Barbie Figueroa with rise marketing and design.com and I truly appreciate that you are here okay so first of all let me paint the scenario of what was happening with one of my partners okay he uh, went and he um, he ran a solo ad, right? And when he ran the solo ad, he still hadn't created a new list for those solo ad subscribers. So basically, he was sending traffic to one of Builderall's lead capture pages, okay? When you send traffic to a Builderall lead capture page, those leads will end up inside your main lead list, which I am going to show you in just a minute, okay? Uh, it is there. It is located in the Builderall dashboard. It is where you see the lead count. Any leads that you generate going through, um, right through Builderall's assets, which are their lead capture pages that are located inside of their dashboard, are going to end up there, okay? So the, what happens is, is that um, which another partner asked me, she's like, well, do, um, does, are, are those leads Builderalls or are they yours? And I'm like, no, any, any lead you generate in Builderall is your lead. Okay. Now the thing is you have to create a list so that those leads that you generate through their system end up on your list and you do that through mailing boss. Okay. So I am going to show you how to do that uh, right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into my, one of my partner's back office, okay? So we're right here in his back office, and for privacy purposes, I don't want to show you, obviously, the emails, okay? But this is where if you are sending a... Um, traffic okay uh, if you're doing a solo ad pay-per-click uh, you know Facebook pay-per-click whatever and you are sending traffic directly to Builderall lead capture pages this is where they're going to end up okay they're going to you're gonna see them here if you don't have a list for mailing boss you're not gonna see them okay so you'll see that now when we go to his mailing boss when we go to his mailing boss you're gonna see that he's got 35 leads here but he only has 21 leads here, right? That's because all those leads have not been transferred into the um, list for Builderall, okay? You follow me so far? All right, so how do we get the leads from here? How do we get these leads into this email? Well, first of all, you have to create an email list, and I am going to do a separate video for that. Okay, so um, 
That way it's not all on the same uh, video. I will break it up, okay, uh, into this little playlist, all right, um, to explain the whole entire thing, <laughs> okay? Um, but what we want to do is we want to download this list, okay? Now, I already did that. All you have to do is you want to download the CSV file, okay? Now, check this out. Builder all, since everything is connected in Builder all, which is something that I really love, okay? Since everything is connected in Builder all, with a couple of little clicks, it every all their services communicate together. What I mean is from right here, from this dashboard, you can uh, connect with Mailing Boss, all right? So for example, let's say for example, I already created the list inside of Mailing Boss, okay? I would be able to grab these leads and simply by clicking save email list okay I don't want to do it now because I've already done it but if I click to save email list, it's going to ask me what email list do I want to save these leads to right and then it'll just say okay I want you to you know if you created a list for uh, builder all prospects it would automatically from the time that you did this forward okay from the time that you did this forward, it will send all the leads into your autoresponder. Okay, now, what happens if you already did traffic? What happens if you already, you know, ran your solo ad and you didn't have a list and you were just depending on uh, Builderall following up and doing it through their lead capture pages? What happens, okay, to those leads before you added the list? Well, those you're going to have to add manually, okay? So this is what I want to show you how to do in this video, how to manually add a new subscriber into your mailing boss from your Builderall lead dashboard, okay? So what you have to do is download the CSV file, okay? Download your CSV file. Now, before... Um, this whole mess with, uh, you know, now they're going to have this GDPR thing coming, uh, uh, this new law in the in the uh, European Union, um, it's affecting email. They're cracking down on spammers. They're cracking down on breaches of privacy and, and leaking privacy and all these uh, private information, all these things. So, you know, uh, uh, not just Builder or Mailing Boss, a lot of service providers are having to, you know, remove double opt, I mean, remove single opt-in feature. If you are really using Builder All to build your business, you've got to stay on top of the technology, okay? And part of that is understanding the news that's coming through, all right? So I'm in the tech industry anyway, and so is my husband. So we are always like on top of the news in the tech industry. And one of the things that is happening is that it's going to affect email providers all across the board okay so I seen a lot of people uh, you know basically complaining and you know crying out oh my I have to do double opt-in I have to do double opt-in um, usually the ones that um, cry the most um, unfortunately about the double opt-ins are internet marketers because you know you just want to generate leads but you know what in my experience after eight years of internet marketing I realized that you don't want just any lead you know you want people that are gonna jump through a hoop you want people that are gonna double opt-in because that's gonna make your list cleaner okay so it's just a level of understanding and maturity that's gonna get you to see it that way um, a double opt-in is actually a good thing for you because it's going to keep your list clean. It's going to up your level, your 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 game level. You're going to want to create more value so that you can actually you know generate higher quality leads. I honestly, I'm 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 beyond just you know <laughs> just just generating any lead I want quality individuals who who really want to learn internet marketing who are serious um, and so you know the double opt-in is a is actually a good thing it, it may seem as a nuisance if you're not used to it but it's actually a good thing at the end of the day if you have any you know um, if, if it's important to you to have a clean list okay now all right so um, so we have to add them manually because you can no longer bulk import your lead list into Mailing Boss unless, unless you create a support ticket 
inside your dashboard, okay? You go ahead and go here, you create a support ticket inside your dashboard, and you ask them specifically to, um, if they would review your list and, and allow a, a bulk import, okay? All email service providers have got to be extremely meticulous and raise their standards of how you know lead, lead lists are are imported, especially because of this GDPR uh, you know law. Now you can get sued lots of money if you're not doing things right. Yes, even if you're in the U.S., you can get sued from someone in the European Union, which is baffling to me. But anyway, hey. That's that's just what you got to do to play this game. So <laughs> it's just you have to make sure that you're 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 covered. Okay. So, all right. So anyway, I have to include this commentary because it's important. Um, instead of just giving you a quick little tutorial, you know, I like to explain the things around why you have to do something. Um, so that's just my teaching style. So anyway, all right, guys. Now. So now that we know that we just can't just, you know, like bulk import unless you contact support, how do you do it manually? How do we add those subscribers manually? Well, I already downloaded his list, okay, and it's right here. So for privacy purpose, I'm not going to show the lead list on camera, okay, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to add the lead manually uh, inside Mailing Boss. So let's go back to Mailing Boss. We already created a list. If you want to know how to create the email list, make sure to click on the playlist for this uh, video series uh, and look for that video okay so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, and add a new subscriber so we're gonna just go ahead and click here go to subscriber and we want to click on create new so now we want to just create the new subscriber and we just want to add them to your list so let me go ahead and grab a name so we're gonna go ahead and add this lead And again, I am going to uh, block out the email for privacy purposes. And then we're going to go ahead and click confirmed. Okay. Save changes. And that's it. Now we'll go back to his list and you'll see that now he has 23 subscribers. Okay. So, all the leads now, from now on, after you create this list, okay, and after you do this, after you click here on options and click save email list, every email, every list, okay, I'm sorry, every lead thereafter will automatically get put into here so you no longer have to worry about it okay so if you generated any leads before you created this list okay that are here okay you just have to add them manually all right if you have generated hundreds of leads through builder all system and you haven't created the mailing boss list then you can either add them manually on your spare time or you can request that support allows you let them know how you generated the leads let them know that you just want to go ahead and upload your leads and uh and and let them help you with that okay otherwise that is how you would add a new subscriber manually all right so that your builder all leads that you have generated through the builder all system ends up on your mailing boss list seamlessly so from now on my partner doesn't have to worry about it anymore okay now he knows that any leads that come in through here any leads that come in through the main builder all lead capture page they're automatically going to get dumped into his list so he no longer has to worry about it okay so I know this video was a little bit longer because I had to explain a lot of things so that you understand the the, the what the who the how the why everything okay um, and now you know 
how that all works okay so anyway hopefully this helped if it did please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel as i will be doing more videos that are st strictly dedicated to builds are all to help you understand the system a little bit better um so yeah this has been barbie figure all with rise marketing and design.com again please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure to visit my website at www.risemarketinganddesign.com and i will see you in another video bye